It's what the soul believes. Once the soul starts to believe, if someone goes, you're stupid or you're foolish or you'll never come to nothing, every time the soul goes, I believe that, then immediately that becomes the forming a position now the soul has been taken. The lower self is beginning to form. The ego is beginning to form. It's not what they throw at you. It's what you believe. What you identify. What you identify. What you form an, an association of her. Every human being hears voices. Jessica, I can hear Pastor Joe's voice, and Sister Jessica, and Sister Jill, and your mom's voice, and your sister, and, and, and invisible voices. You know and, and so when the ego goes to deal with a situation, all the voices come to us into the moment. Into the moment. All the things it ever heard in school. You know what Teachers, I said, I don't know why you come to class. You're just a failure. Now, at a certain point, it doesn't start right away. Once this program becomes strong, fear will give birth to a child. This one will cripple you and nullify most of your ability. It's called doubt, or we have another word for it in the world. Second guess. Everything you're about to do, all of the things you have heard and you believe in, comes to the moment. Oh, I always feel it never works out for me. They say I'll never become nothing. Uh, you know, um, I messed it up. My mom was right. I just saw all. So immediately, there's there's a stream and a slew of everything you identify with, called the ego or the lower self, come to the moment. So you never engage in the moment in what the moment just is, or as you, you're engaging it as the collective sum of negativity that you identify with. This is how you embrace every moment. Every time God tells you to do something, the inner critic is there to tell you why you can't do it, remind you you're a failure, remind you you're nobody, remind you what you did in school, remind you. It's always doing something to reinforce its position, meaning what it's made of. So every time you start to believe more in God, you go, whoa, 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 that's dangerous. You're trying to eliminate us, everything yes. we have invested. Do you forget the time when you were told you were stupid? That's part of us. We collect that hurt. Do you remember? Do you remember? The, so it, it, it comes and it's always counteracting what you're trying to do. Because it is just trying to secure its position. The more you believe what you're trying, what you're doing, and especially how, how God's work, he wants to live in you. He's taking the position of the ego. You, go, Whoa, you put, that thing almost push us out. You can't believe that strong. You remember somebody that believed in God that happened to them? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know. You know. You know. It, it you were worked. Yeah. You know. They died. We can't die. You understand? So the inner critic is always there to try to secure itself. Stop you from speaking. It, 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 speaking anything mm -hmm. that will increase the new life in you. Because, you understand, two life can't live in the same place. No. Christ said you can't love two masters. No You're going to hate one and love one. Yeah. So the more you start to love God, the more you're eliminating fear. Mm -hmm. 